Hello, and welcome to Advent of Code. Day 19, I forgot to start recording. So, let's go again. Um, what we are doing, what we've done so far is we've we're just parsing the input. We are creating robots to mine minerals. And currently I'm trying to parse these robots. And so we get some blueprints and then we run it. And then we're supposed to figure out how to get the maximum amount of geodes or something like that. I'm eating amazing cookies. Reading book. It's gonna be file path to IO input. Read input equals a uh, map. What's gonna be parse? Uh, so first dot read p to s and uh, parse blueprints. Blueprints over read file This might work to read input day 19. better in a bit what we're trying to do here. to here. Oh, wait, she's not doing it. It's quite annoying. Let me just change the example to be exactly the same as the input. Okay. Map. Okay, we're not going to do this. We're just going to do 
read map read dot lines okay four two three fourteen two seven can we part of the input? I'm guessing we can. Yes, input was parsed. Okay. So we have these, we're trying to collect geodes and we're trying to collect, uh, to collect geodes, we need geo collecting robots. To make those, we need obsidian collecting Robot to make me need obsidian, so we have obsidian collecting robots, and then we have clay collecting robots to make any type of robot. We need ore, so we need and we have an ore collecting robot. So each robot can collect one, so we can make robots, but we need robots to collect resources um, to make more robots, right? Figure out which will prove the maximum number of open robots after 24 minutes by figuring out which robots to build and when to build them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, we can select actions at each step. Let's model this state. So I did a state was a st and a st our state. Okay. So this is a or robots in clay robots. In obsidian robots, 
int geode robots int okay let's actually make this just the robots int comma int comma int comma int okay and then it's or a clay obsidian geo now stocks is going to be the same a int comma int comma int comma int update state update state now let's see this is our state our state this is uh, going to be rs comma sts and i can just add these all like i cannot so if I have like one clay robot, right, one more robot, I will have one more of that, right? So RS at a OC 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 uh, or clay obsidian geode uh, oh, or robot clay robot obsidian robot geode robot oh C B G Time up, this is the time update. Okay, and this is just going to be... O plus O R B plus C R B plus D plus G R So when the time passes um Went towards the start building click learning robot. And then we get the one or Okay, now let's do um factory. This is just what the factory is doing. Int comma int comma int comma int. int. Rs add.
Let's call this uh, just mining. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a bit different. Um, empty factory. Gonna be. Okay, the uh, factory is going to be called the empty factory. Now let's include the factory here. F O uh, F C M P F G. Robots equals. OR plus FO TR plus FC PR plus FP PR plus F G have these actually be the actual cost each ore robot is so it's clay and ore okay so this is this is gonna be the ore cost And then this is going to be Obsidian, Robot, oh, OB Rock, zero comma, uh, oh, OBRCC, zero comma zero. And then this is GROC, so Geode Robot cost or zero comma, zero comma, GRCC. Mm -hmm. uh, type crypto quipple uh, is equal to int comma int comma int comma int <laughs> okay, so this is how we update the state. Now, uh, let's actions data action. Okay. A pass or build a build uh, or build or build clay. Build obs build a this is the last one build geo arriving EQ show or whatever. Uh, now take action takes the state and the action and returns the state. Take action, ST. Build. 
maybe I'll want to have it like this. Oh, okay, let's just have it like this. Uh, RS at R state language record wild cards. Okay, take. Okay, so build or. It's gonna be a RS factory equals one comma zero comma zero zero. And let me see. Add quipple. Quipple. Quipple, add quipple, a, a, b, c, c, d, x, y, z, w, a plus b, a plus x, a, b plus y, b plus z, d plus b. So stocks is just gonna be our state stocks is add coupon a uh, uh, stocks robots. Robots equals add coupon robots factory and factory is equal to the factory. Okay, this is simpler. The so build, so then we add one uh, factory is like that. Let's have the input here, the blueprint. BL. BL. And let's actually have this more. Or robot. Yeah, clay robot. OB robot. And geo robot. That's gonna be O equals group O. Or robot O R C R O B R G R. Yeah. So if I want to build an OR, uh, the factory negate quapple is equal to quapple to quapple. 
Uh, and then the stocks is equal to RS dot uh, equal to stocks uh, add quapple uh, negate negate bl dot o c or negate quapple exactly the same for build clay and so there it's the oc the cr and then build Ops is going to be the same. And then build geo is going to be Now let's uh, simulate the example. Mm. What do they actually do in the example? Let's keep this here and keep this here. So every minute, let's see. Um, EX acts is a list of action. EX acts. So first they pass, pass, pass. And then a build clay. And then pass. And then build clay. And pass and then build clay pass pass mm, pass build obs build clay pass Pass build OBS pass pass let's say here let's uh, review it if I would go too far okay so pass pass or clay pass pass okay pass pass clay pass clay pass pass clay pass pass clay pass clay pass clay pass pass clay pass clay pass clay pass 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 oh yes clay pass pass OBS pass pass build geo pass pass geo pass pass build geo Pass pass build geo, because we have pass pass build geo, pass pass build geo, pass pass pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six
Okay, so run round. We're gonna take the state and we take the action and give a state. Run round is equal to a st equals equals takes action. And I need the current blueprint also input. Take action. BL act. Take action, uh, BL act, and then we do mine. Take action, B BL ST act, and this, uh, and then we did the thing where we do mining, mining. Okay, now let's uh, do um, Initia is equal to our state. So I have the RS and I have the one. So I have uh, the robots. Uh, wait. Stocks equals empty factory. Let's not call it empty factory. Let's call it Empty quaffle quaffle. Mm -hmm. Empty, empty, empty quaffle. The uh, robe, so the uh, factory is equal to. Empty quapo, but the robots equal to one comma zero comma zero comma zero. RST. Let's make this bigger. Let's just call this here script. Now, so what I think this is going to be some sort of dynamic programming like a uh, Schedule optimization, cost constraint solving, blah blah. Okay, so we have the script. Now, what I want to do is I want to do um, hold L. Okay, and then we have the. Uh, XX script. Now I take the input. I take the uh, state, the initial state, I take the piece of actions, and I return the final state. XX script. A BLAI state. X equals fold L. A run round. BL. Now I state X. Yeah,
got XX Crypt, and it's gonna be uh and the inputs are actually here. Don't need to take in the ice stick because I know what that one would be. Okay. Exec script. E. Initial. In in initial init, initial state. It's okay. It cannot print. Oh, this is for show state. Uh huh. Deriving show. But, uh. Oh, day. Uh, day 19. But I just. Uh, oh, we're running to a hotel. Unexhausted patterns and function take action. Ah. Take action. Okay. Uh, RS pass equals RS. Okay. It seems like a. Um, There's something wrong here. One, or collecting robots. Four, and then two and two. Um. I have six or I have 41 clay. Eight obsidian and nine open geodes. Each robot, geode robot. Let me just read this. I just wonder what the inputs are. Make sure we got them correct. The Move this trace show here. So each uh, cost. Four or two, two, four or two or. It's a zero because three or and fourteen clay. It's two or and seven obsidian. Okay, so this one is correct. Uh, take action.
uh, mining stocks equals add cobalt stocks robots robots equals add cobalt robots factory factory equals empty cobalt let me just uh, Uh, it's probably because I'm holding the L, but I should be holding. R. Okay, let's see. Let's just take that uh, first one. So I start out with one, zero, and then two. And then I have one, one, and I get one. Okay. One or you don't have one or you have two or. You want to collect this one, you know, have one or new click on one. How about you know, have one of them? And then I have two or and one clay, and then I have one or and two clay. They produce geodes. Okay, so there you get nine at the end here. Probably not the same. Ah, okay. I haven't actually computed. Yeah, okay. So I, it's not the same. Zero you know, for actions. Mm 
All right. Now let's say uh, compute the possible actions in the current state. We are going to be doing um, let's see possible possible actions. Possible actions uh, input to so the blueprint. We need the state and then we get a list of action. Possible actions. VL uh, ST. Compare a uh, can pay. Quapple and Quapple and let's pair these up. A pairs a cause of the one takes an action and returns. Uh, okay, so for actions, I should actually do EQ show ord and you know. Okay, cost of action a input to action to a quapple. Now cost of s equals empty quapple. Cost a uh, BL a BL and a build or is equal to BL dot OR. Cost of BL dot BL a BL clay equals BL dot CL. Clay robot cost of BL dot build a geo no OBS equals BL dot OBR and cost of BL build a geo equals BL dot OBR no geo G robot okay now a uh, possible actions given an input and a state is equal to is payable takes two couples a couple let's just say or word couple compare couple is ordering now compare quapple quapple ah now let's not do it like that is payable quapple quapple bull x uh, so a b c d a y z w is equal to a larger than x and a larger than equal to and b b larger than equal to y and c larger than equal to z and d larger than equal to w okay possible actions action possible actions a uh, blst equals 
Now we will do uh, we will enumerate the tuples pass to Okay, so these are all the available geo. Let me see. Enum. Enum. Uh, Haskell Enum from two. Why? Why does it error here? Min bound to mat bound. Ah, maybe it's not that bad. I think this might be actually a, a error, like the overload record dot error. Okay, but let's say here, um, ding, filter is payable. St dot star. These are the possible actions in the state. Ding, ding, ding. So let's now, during our time thing, let's just do a Chris show. Where are S prime equals? Ratio RS comma possible actions. Ah, oh, we can't do it here. Okay, RS prime XX script. A A E A S D no S D A run round. SDA. But I also want to hear trace show ST comma possible actions BL ST. Turn each of the In each of the ones, we take one. So first we can pass, then we can pass, then we can pass or build clay. Then we can pass, then we can pass. Pass or build clay. And... St... Let's do A. Okay. What do we did? Okay, pass, build clay, pass, build clay, pass, pass, build clay, pass, build clay, pass, build clay, pass, build clay. Uh, 
Okay, and now... Hmm. Now I want to... Search the space. How do I do that? Uh, well, I can just generate all the possible routes. And then we do that. Uh, we're going to get a lot of combinations. Okay, so let me check here. Um, Explore uh, space input current state. Gonna generate a uh, generate a, a list of actions. Okay, so first of all, where pause equals a uh, Possible actions, PLST. Now, um, then I want to do uh, for each of these. So, TAA equals a. Um, X, so explore space a bl take action so run round a, so this one will do blsta run round blsta explore space bl taa -A, okay Mm -hmm. Concat map TA pause. Okay, and now for all these are, these are all the actions. Quite a lot. So, um, okay, now we're going to explore, explore the space BL uh, initial state. And I'm going to map, take 24. Let a path is going to be a lot of paths. Let me just start by saying where the possible like kind of three paths. It's not going to be a lot, right? Because uh, the first things we can do is just Okay, this is not being lazily valued at all.
Ah, because it's exploring first all the paths, first all the passes. Ah, uh, and I'm not actually DAA. And I'd never actually. I never actually turned anything. Um. This is not being evaluated in the way that I thought it would be. Um. Okay. Ding, ding, click. Ding, ding, Mm-mm. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's be very careful here. Map A to uh, so T A A A pause. Well, is the one to select next? actions and then we let a uh, let a uh, SF hate it from here T A A in and the state from here is a list of actions. SFH
But this does not give a list of list of actions. It is concat map, right? Because um but this will not give me the Oh, now it did. Now it's just always giving me the first one. Let me see. Oh, 
Okay, well, let me. What if I just have the number here? So int and explore more space and zero. I'm going to just do the empty list and uh, concat map PA. A concat map to you pause no oh, good. Okay, so here I have to, or not the empty list, the empty, empty list. How many possible paths of 24 are there? Maybe not the uh, trace show then. How many length type paths of lengths? Five are. Ten. Okay. Okay, can I eliminate a lot of them after 12, maybe? Let's say, you know, if they haven't started generating geode at time 12, they're obviously not doing well. Let's see, the best one here builds their first geode cracking robot. Minute 18.
I do get up to 18. it's a lot harder for the input because Okay, let me see. Um Eval uh, action input state uh, where is let's make a here. Uh, let's make a we have input SD uh, act is equal to uh, where final state equals run script check check script a uh, act a uh, b l uh, s d ah uh, uh, let's make this take in a uh, uh, s d Let's see, uh, this is um, uh, you know, a thousand times a sl dot geo sl dot or uh, sl dot stocks a uh, stocks bonds, uh, F O F C uh, F B F G is equal to uh, final state dot stock. So let's talk about you know one million times F G plus a. Uh, 
We have B. Now let's say um, input a uh, eight list list of actions. Uh, now it's prune, and let's just say that a uh, blst equals a uh, take. Let's take the top ten hundred. Take top 10, uh, uh, reverse, uh, short by compare on eval blst for data dot list uh, sort by import data dot function on print so print the uh, path is this now we're gonna print uh, prune We're going to take the top end, right? Prune, and let's just say print, take the past five paths of uh, paths. Ah. BL1, BL2, uh, BL1 initial state, initial state, initial state, initial state, initial state. Let's uh, do it for well. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna take the top 10. Let's take the top 100. Okay, now in. Um... Let's pick the top 10. Now we are gonna say a final path is equal to uh, is equal to so map map. So we're gonna take the path current the one of uh, so acts, and we're gonna do a explore space twelve bl one, and then this is gonna be xx script a. BL initial state I get that when I'm running it again and again but it's okay explore space BL XX script BL1 initial state yeah, that's gonna be the state and we're gonna do this on the What is it complaining about here? The last statement, okay, and um, print prone length dollar prone one. This is extremely naive search, right? Okay, now this is the first one. Mm. B 
best one is equal to this. Now let's print next script. Best one. Uh, BL1 initial state. What's the final state here? It certainly is the best one, but it is not wrong. It's run right. Okay. Pass, pass, no play. Why is it a... Maybe it didn't, didn't work right if I did all that right. I think I'll have to have this as E, S, T, and then...
Yay, I seem to find the same maximum as the first one. So pass, pass, no pass. Oh, nice. Okay, what about BL2? Oh wow! Little Annie saying okay. Thanks, little Annie. And you highlighted your message with all your channel points. Not bad. This is like iffy, right? Because we... We, um... I didn't do the two here. Probably not enough fusion going on either, right? Here I'm still just taking the top ten. I should definitely be able to cut some of them off. 
um, at the end. So as you can see here, um, Okay, let's now do some optimization. Right. Uh, possible actions. Let's just have that be if is payable fifty dot stocks cost of BL build. Geo, then else. So this is our one. The process will not die. Let me see here. Okay, so we build Geo if we can. No need to explore anything else there. Now let's just see here. Uh, to use, let's go all build to here. Now BL1, BL2, and let's have uh, this BL2 use equals BL1. Okay, so, you know, if we can build the Geo robot, we are going to build the Geo robot. Okay, that's uh, as simple as that, really. Let's see here. Uh... Okay. I'm also like keeping a lot of them around, right? Which I don't need. <laughs> yeah, I think the memory usage here is what... Uh... Kills it actually. What if I do it in a couple of steps? 
Um. Wow, little Lenny can only chat if she highlights her message. Ah! We got uh, seven viewers. Thank you for tuning in. How is everyone? Is uh, my chat... Oh, how's it going? Hey, Christian. It's not going great. I'll tell you that. Um, I keep running out of memory. Uh, which is not great. Okay, so paths. So, okay, so I'm gonna do this a couple of times. Okay, uh, we're gonna do the uh, run round in uh, and then we're gonna have the initial, so we're gonna have the state. In the state and then the well the input actually input and we're gonna take a list of actions and we're gonna return a list of action. Okay, run. Okay, this is not run around. This is gonna be a a. a Run a few. Okay, so run a few is going to be a where. Okay, we're going to do paths. Okay, so uh, let's see. This is a a moves, uh, and then we're gonna so we're gonna look up. So I had some moves. And then we're actually gonna do a plus a hundred times FC plus F of F of for paths equals a explore space moves a, a after prune to moves a uh, BL to use this is gonna be BL so BL and then state BL a uh, state prune equals prune after prune ST ah uh, Sorry, and then this is not state. This is actually a uh, so far. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna do here. Uh, first, I'm gonna prune. Uh, prune after prune so far. And then a uh, uh, equals concat map so far uh, let's do just same exactly the same act map act dollar explore space a uh, moves bl Exact script uh, and this is false act bl sd pruned Ding, 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 ding. Moves after prune. 
PLST so far. Prune. Okay, this is gonna be actually like this. Pruned after prune. Oh, we need the yeah your Let's see here now. Uh, so let's do um, let uh, let FST equals um, uh, you know, let uh, BL to use equals BL one. Now run run res equals a uh, run a few. We're gonna do six moves and we're gonna go to the top ten of the BL to use a initial stage. Then we're gonna start off with the empty action. And let's print out what we get from that. My poor VM is so... It's always a bit unhappy after it, like, runs into memory issues. Okay, so these are the first few. Let's see, uh, what if I just do... Uh... Three here. Okay. Now, um, runner as prime is going to be, I'm going to do three after that, and I'm going to give it run res. Uh, and then I need to print uh, runner as prime. Now, okay, let's do this a couple of times. Six, six. Okay, that was quite fast. Uh, and now we're just taking very few steps at a time. Now from the last one, I actually... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, this is valid only if, like, the... The heuristic that we chose means that the like the eventually best path is in the top ten after six steps, which there is no guarantee of. Um, uh, let's go <coughs> geodes. Input state action int. Map print run res. Geos, and then I need to give it all the stuff. PL to use initial state. Uh, initial stage last one okay
Okay, we get to a... Um, print, a uh, print, a uh, maximum. So here it gets to eight. Okay, so that was too bad. Let's bump this up to a hundred each step. It's not even in the top 100. What if we do a 25, but here we run a few. But we do it uh, three times eight. And we do find the best one. to be able to uh, then it only finds 10 but we would want 12 there Nah, this is too long. And this is the one we did initially, right? And it's gonna run out of memory. Check the space and then like not remember the like not remember the actions just um, just give it the int kind of Explore space um, zero SD equals Okay, and then here, instead of doing concat map, so we got the possible actions. Now, TA takes a action. And we will return at least events. Let's see. 
So let's just do explore max. Print. Explore max a 24 PL to use a initial state. So here's no pruning. That's really slow, right? Because then it has to kind of fully evaluate everything before, and we can't take it in the level. This is the one that will like you know, will definitely work, right?
Maybe we can like uh, jump pitch, right? So uh, we find the best strategy to get uh, to get one geo, right? Then we don't have to go. All, then we don't have to go all the way. I think that could work, yeah. Let me see, BL2 here. Nothing after eating over there either. They get what I mean, right? So we find like the best one to go get to one. something you would probably use like some dynamic programming scheduling algorithm <clears throat> okay let's it i'm gonna go reddit and then let's go i want to see what people are doing Maybe I could do like a shortest path algorithm where the uh, destination is uh, uh, I want to find yeah when I where the destination is uh, oh oh Okay, so yeah, okay, let's try and do this with the BFS. Okay, um,
Mm -mm -mm. So the neighbors function take the here neighbors let neighbors equals a so we take a list of acts and we do um, possible actions uh, BL possible action BL to use um, and then XX script false act a initial state. Okay, this is the neighbors. neighbors function BFS. Import data dot set qualify as set import qualified data dot map as map import data dot set set import data dot map map okay now um this bfs here will be the so this is not the neighbors or so neighbors <laughs> neighbors B that would take input and state action to list action neighbors a uh, blsd equals and here we do this uh, act uh oh yeah take, yeah take a list of actions the list of list of actions ah maybe i should do it differently neighbors take a, a state 
and the list of actions to a list of state comma action now i'm gonna i'm gonna say so not end this is gonna be p2 bool i'm gonna do that here so a a2 bool Uh, this is BFS prime. So instead of the end here, I'll have and F A to pool. No, so then I'll not have Q is equal to equal to end. I'll have a end F Q. Q. Otherwise it's the same. So it's BFS with the end condition. Now let us use BFS here. A BFS a uh, let p res equals. So I had this neighbors function somewhere. Let me just undo everything here. Okay. Let's say a uh, st comma act for possible PL to use, and then this is actually PL comma act. This is actually st Here I'll have so this makes a P and they will go and say run round P L S T P comma X plus plus This is the neighbors function. Let me just say that uh, BFS BFS is equal to BF prime and NS E NS NS uh, compare And then we're just going to say a uh, EQ equals compare E Q compare E Q. Now uh, this is the neighbors is going to be this. Um, BFS, uh, BFS P is equal to <laughs> so the neighbors function is going to be a bfs prime uh, and i have to export it bfs prime and the neighbors function uh, nsbl to use Okay. And then the start state is initial state 
and empty list and in the end function is going to take in an st and the list of acts and i don't care about list of acts but i'm going to say that what i'm looking for here is a what i'm looking for here is a st R state uh, stocks equals don't care g g is larger than zero Mm -hmm. There's no sword state. Okay, let's just derive that. Now, let me do that here and let me just print BFSP. So, Okay, it's actually quite slow or um Let me write it again and as a BL Let's try and find it like okay, what is the shortest path to make a uh, clay Okay, so the shortest path to build this is the shortest this is the shortest path to get clay. And then we just go here and uh, just Okay, and I actually just care about the last there.
just a PFC. F clay, PF uh, clay. Print F clay, BF clay. So this is the first, this is the shortest path. Get clay. Now, uh, starting from there, what is the shortest path to get a uh, obsidian? F obs, BF obs. And then we're going to start off with uh, F clay, BF clay. I didn't print it out. Okay, and now let's see if we can use this to say best first Geo BF Geo I need to print it out I wanna. I wanna reverse these actions actually. to make it so that you pick something else first. I like how we're doing all these optimizations, and now we're we're still worse than when we started. Ah. 
We started off the wrong path. Ah! And now it worked quite well. Let me see. PL to use. Okay, so, and then I want to do, um... Then let me do actually something here. Let me, so from this starting point, explore... Okay, maybe I don't need to even reverse here. Okay, and now I'm going to do a uh, print, explore max a length, bfgo, bfgo, so uh, 24 minus bfgo. And the initial, and then we got field to use, and we have the FGO. Hiya, Rikert. How are you doing? So I think these are okay. Let me... What if I bump up here? doing uh, the advent of code um day 19 and it uh, well it's a lot harder than yeah and i, I even said um 
I said I would stop right at this point, but I feel like I'm almost onto something here. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank for the follow. Let me just see. Okay, and then I'm gonna say uh, exec script false. And uh, what does it say? Exec script. Exec script. Uh, false. And now I'm going to, because it like the last action that it does might be bad. So X accept false, uh, and then a uh, init pfgo, and we are going to say pl pl init initial state one step back one step back a uh, bf build a uh, clay build xx trip in it bf clay and this is bl to use So from here, I'm actually going to say, not be able to use, I'm going to say F first clay. I'm going to say a uh, clay build. Um, and then I'm going to say uh, init BF clay. Okay, now we're gonna do this, but we're gonna say play OBS G. Mm. And we're gonna say OBS and Geo. Ah, okay, clay build. Clay build, let's paste it. We say OBS and Geo G and then we say play OBS G we take a step back Saying that it should, uh, yes, we've been at it for three hours already. But we're not stopping in the right, I'm not stopping so far. Let's see, uh, B Geo build, success scrape in it, BF Geo. to use FGO Geo build. Ah, there we got nine. Oh, very good. Oh, what does it say for build two? Uh,
Seems like rushing to build the first geode is not the best option for... Um, for the... What do we just do here then? We need... Geo... OBS, Geo... OBS a That is funny that um that rushing the first uh, OBS build your first uh, rushing to build the first OBS I'm from Iceland right record uh but I'm in Sweden right now. Ah, oh, no. Okay, now I know what. Because I copied too much. That is a bit sad, actually. I always try to do something when I can. But then it says seven there.
Okay, so this one was if I search for the church path to build one, no zero. What if I search? I want to be as passive as possible. I'm hoping, yeah, this works, works for the example. So we kind of rush, we, we find the uh, shortest path to But it's really bad at kind of figuring out uh, because now it's like trying to. Uh, See if I can speed this up a bit.
Okay, let me. Exec rev script. Just paste this, call it prime. This is exec script, script prime verbos. Exec script. Now I don't have to reverse it. E, let's see here. Initial state, and then I just run the tail of BF play. That's a bit quicker because I'm not like adding to the back of the list. Um, I'm always adding to the front of the list. But it's giving me wrong. Why does this not work? You don't ask.
Uish. Sorry about that. Okay, how about not checking the uh, stocks but checking the robot? Okay, so now I found the best one to get to one. Let me just actually use the... I don't care about this init here. Why did that take so much more? Is that so much faster?
Okay. Quickest path to two robots. Okay. Can I get to three robots? I can get to three rooms. I cannot get to three robots. What about okay, explore max? Twenty four minus uh Okay, so who's going too far? That one.
this is this is a bit irritating right so we find a path it's the first the fastest path to build the geo robot okay So can I somehow like take this path and optimize it? What is the uh, script? No, what is the actual path that we want? Pass, pass, build clay. Pass, pass, build clay. Pass, build clay, build clay. What if I um, what if I skip this one? You need to state. Okay, so if I rush, uh, okay, that doesn't matter. But, okay, so, um, yeah, I think I've tried this before, right? And it was very slow. Maybe if I reverse possible actions. So well, I do know that you know, brushing clay in the beginning is the best thing to do. There's no need to look at uh, anything else.
I mean, according to the script, this is the... Um, this is the, like, the correct, right? So... So, like, at, on turn 18, build Geo. So question is, can I somehow kind of take the path that I, uh, that I have and uh, improve it? Okay, let's see. Let's write depth first. Do do How do you write depth verse search? We don't have these empty sets at least. Mm 
Okay, so let's see. Death by Surge. Oh, wow. No. Let me just refresh. Okay. Okay, death first search. I have this scene. Scene PSQ. DFS Prime. Or this is the scene here, it says it's a discovered function. Okay, so uh, let me... Let me see, ends equals neighbors start. Prime, and then this is a tangent map of me. Oh, DFS Prime. Scene. If the path is empty, then we get. Okay, let me get nothing. Well, let me get the uh, left team. DFS Prime, a bean, a a s equal case, DFS Prime. If I seen a uh, and then this is curve case in s neighbors curve of so if there are any neighbors if there are any neighbors then we do of so nothing then we just do left Scene A A S case 
DFS Prime Scene Set Out Insert A Set Out Insert Scene of Case Filter Not Set Out Member Lip set that member scene. If there's no, no new neighbors that we haven't seen before, then otherwise. Give us a scene. Okay. Oh. Say work. EFS Prime.
Hmm. I think DFS is like that. Now let me try doing something here. Uh, and DFS DLST is equal to Possible actions DLST A map P to run around VL STP Should put that there. Now let me run this a uh... starting point which is going to be zero initial state and the end function is supposed to be this the same as here
And so how long does it take for it to figure out the, the path does not exist? For BL1 that is.
Okay, let's now see. We just write this loop here. Go and ends. Equals a case. So if of nothing we return n minus one just something Yeah, this is like the brute force, right? Just search it until you find something. Me. It's quite fast for that one. Now here we wanted to see it to get to 12.
Let me see. Let's see if we can like prune this even farther. Let Max more map more equals a maximum. BL dot OR BL dot OR <coughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, let's see now. The max or reserve it's gonna be the maximum uh, zero uh, so this is gonna be the zeroth index of a uh, map index q over this list bl dot or bl dot over bl dot this is the obsidian robot bl dot here and bl dot here
Okay, so I'm gonna prune away those states where uh, NDFS PL. So if I have more ore and I have not built a robot, then so if I could have built a robot, but I didn't, then I don't want to take a look at that state. Wow, that finished really fast. Okay, so I think this one works, actually. Task 1. Input. Task 1 takes in this input. PL to use. Um, Okay, go zero int Let's comment out all this best per search something. Now let's just say print dollar map dot map task one. DFS, we're not using DFS res here. And it doesn't like this. This is my simple heuristic.
and we map task one to int and then we do sip with one dollar and then what i want to do is i want to get the id and the value and i want to return i times v and we're going to take the sum of this We did try a lot, right? Okay, we get the result here. Now let's let's try this for the input. Oh. My year six are too harsh.
Yeah, see, it doesn't work for the example.
But why is it giving zero here? Each robot costs four ore. Each K robot costs four ore. Each is gonna cost four. 19, 19 clay. Right, okay. So maybe the right answer here is. Uh, okay, yeah, no way. Right. Okay, the heuristic is just off. here uh, four times max or res so I could fail any robot I will be a lot slower right doom, 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 doom. Can I uh, accelerate it by not so not saying here? Because I might be, yeah, sad.
Okay, so the only one got Jack, that's the... Nobody is using clay. Let's check. How about something like this? Well, 57 was too low. Let's go back to the subreddit, see if we can find some good heuristics.
Okay, so robots. O R C R B R. Okay, so if um, so that's what they're saying. If O R is larger than or equal to res is zero. Okay, and I'll do the paper. Okay, I'll just say that if OR, OR is larger than reses of zero, then I will return empty. Or so if I'm if I've built more robots than I'll ever need, they are larger than reses of one, or br larger than reses two. For any resource that's on an R that's not a geode, if you already have X robots creating resource R and no robot requires more than X of resource R to build, then you never need to build another robot mining R anymore. Okay, so yeah, so this is basically be, if I built too many robots. Okay, now for the second heuristic. And okay, for any resource, the other X robot, a no robot strike, fair more said. So X times T. If OR or so number of robots times um, and <coughs> uh, time minus N plus a uh, Plus O No T is a time minus N. So T 
OR times T plus uh, plus O Uh, larger than a t times Well, but then it returns. Oh, okay. Let's see. Was it the. Oh, no. This one is two. So let's check the first one here. A equals something. Oh no, I had to put it like that. Okay. Um, if a OR larger than or equal to reses reses of zero. Okay, let me see here. In DFS. The pause equals in pause prime is equal to heuristics. Heuristics a st heuristics a equals h of st and st cos prime for h of n and uh, r state. As the stocks equals or stocks, play stocks, obsidian uh, stocks, robots equals or robots, clay robots, and obsidian robots uh, equals. Now, um. H and uh, so uh, empty equals empty. H and F pass equals uh, H and uh, so pass of H and uh, 
S-T-H-M-N-S-T-A-R-S Now, okay, let's say that I'm looking at the um, the a uh, build. I always want to. So I don't care if I'm looking at um, build. If I'm looking at build geo, I always want to pass build geo. Okay. That's pretty simple. Okay, now if I'm looking at a build or where uh, rest equals H and SD at HNSTRS. Okay, and then I want to say uh, if um, if OR larger than equal to um, reses of zero or let me just do it like this then rest else build or rest okay let's just start with these uh, heuristics case a a case are larger than one and then I'll build OBS so here's the year is equal to OBS VR then
Okay, so this is the first two, and now I want to boom in the second one. So this one says OR times T plus uh, O larger than or equal to T times Just do it like this.
let's hope this works It's slower for sure. Let's hope that means that it's uh, considering more things, right? Mm -hmm. Just making some chess moves. Doo -doo -ba -ba -doo -doo -ba. Gonna chest this thing up. We got one chest here that's completely lost. To do. Uh, and sacrifice my queen. I do believe this one is last as well. Let me resign. Rematch. That is just what happens sometimes. <laughs> did I say last time? 12.57 too low let's see 1404 we did task 1 we were almost there, we had the DFS, but we needed the good heuristics. We got them. Yellow found the phone, you know, you probably need to have 32 minutes. Okay. So, task two. Task. And. 
task two, uh, task one. And this one takes in time as well. Task one, uh, input to int task one equals task n 24. Okay, task two is equal to task n, but this time with 32. Um, and, uh, take three. Let's see what happens. I mean, yeah. We got this. Let me just see. All right, this is gonna run for a while. Let's actually not care about this. Let's just care about this. Thirty two and okay. let's just leave it running. After we've built the first obsidian robot, don't even look at building any ore robot. Let's see. Let's try these some of these crazy heuristics. Build or if or is equal to or this is a simple one. If we bolt the first obsidian robot, don't even look at building any ore robots. Eh, we are larger than or equal to one. If you built the first geo, don't build it any more play robots. If we are.
Okay, that's also one good point. Um, I can, I can, I can immediately during update. Um, um, kind of unify these. Possible. Wait, I don't. Do I never? Ah. Okay, run round. Okay, so <sighs> Okay, this can actually then be just uh, G. And so instead of saying GR is larger than equal one, I just say G. Okay. Uh, now I never need this VR. Okay, then I want to say run round. Uh, and here I want to say time minus n. So I want shim staff run round. Time minus n. Okay, and then we'll find run round. Uh, where did I put it? Maybe I put it, I put it here, yeah. E, and then it's gonna be int, take action T. Ah, uh, no, take action T. Take action. Take action. So here I'm gonna say an int. Okay, there's not much time is left. I don't care in this case. I don't care in this case. I don't care in this case. I care in that case. I don't care in this case. Um. Wait, let me see. Money.
actually prefer to be here. Yes, T minus one, right? That's how I'm just gonna make. Can I memorize this somehow? Hey, Aaron. Thank you for joining. It's going okay. And I had to take a hint. Um, but it's still very slow. And we're still waiting for it to solve task two. People are saying, oh, I added these heuristics. And it went from one, seven seconds to one second. The mine is taking seven minutes. So I'm hoping. Yeah, so I went on the subreddit, right? So if you get get it wrong, like the answer, it's like, oh, take a look at the subreddit. And so I took a look at the subreddit, so and I'd already kind of um I was doing breath first search first, and then I was doing like death first search. Uh, and I kind of knew, okay, this works, but I need to prune the search space. So I went to the subreddit and uh, 
there they talk about a bunch of heuristics uh, which I've implemented here which is the you know I don't know it's not it's not as nice you know but um, this is really just kind of oh let's take you know domain knowledge about this and put it in there um, and I feel like you know that's that's fine right you can we can dump in some domain knowledge there some heuristics yeah exactly how are you Aaron I want to say the 57 this is the advent of code uh, 2022 day 19 we used to be like the first few days it took us like half an hour or so um, and now it's taking many hours I think um, yeah on Saturday it took like seven hours Oh, it's this, uh, it's fun. It's this, uh, what's the hints? So it's this advent calendar, right? So you get, uh, you get one, you get one programming problem per day. And, uh, the story is that you're like on the North Pole helping Santa doing stuff. Anyway, um, and then, um, yeah, so first it starts off quite easy, I would say, and then it gets harder and harder and harder. Yeah, it's been uh, fun. And then every year since 2020, I've, uh, I've streamed it live on Twitch. And there is a competition. Uh, so if you go on leaderboard, these are like the people who solve it right away. And then you get like stats. But I'm not competing with anyone. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's all a uh, Haskell, actually. Let me see. I want to uh, short circuit this even further. So this one ends up being just the path, right? Okay, so I want to say here uh, that I don't care and the R state, so R, R, R state. of um let me see so uh, stocks fg fg Last P. 
Eh, last FP. Press your end and FG. We're going to go FG plus one. So now, instead of like, when it finds something that's higher, it doesn't have to search again and again and again for that, right? You, I have a, no, I don't have one yet. A, I am working on getting one. An important distinction. A, Uh, what do you do with that qualification? Well, I do research. Uh, like the other day, I got... Um, my paper got accepted. Um, I mostly do work on... Automatic program repair. Oh, what will I do with it? I mean, yeah, I mean, we do research, right? Uh, I might work at uh, like at a consultancy doing Haskell stuff, um, but it's also you know it's it's more like I want to say joining a church, right? It's like you know you get a master's so you can get a job with your degree, right? But you, you don't do a PhD um, because of the qualifications. I mean, sure, if you want to do like, uh, if you want to do something like, uh, you want to be in academia, like you want to be a professor or something, yeah, then then you need a qual like PhD as a qualification. But uh, it's also just about you know. Being able to do research, right? Being able to come up with ideas, you write a paper about them, um, and you work them out, right? And then you can kind of take a, and that's what research is, right? You've done, like, if you do your research, and it's this idea of how do we, you know, in a good way, kind of further humanity's knowledge right um and that's what i like you know i was uh, when i was thinking about it i finished my masters and i thought uh, do i want to just get that money or do i want to do something that's i i want to say meaningful right Yeah, I mean, it's like normal science, but it's a it's a bit different in the sense that it's more like math, right? So uh, we're more trying to figure out, like, you know, making up systems and then f discovering their properties, right? Whereas normal science, you know, you're more talking about systems that actually exist, right? Like the body or the cell or a virus, right? Whereas we're more like, huh, you know, what if I made a programming language that did it like this? What if I, uh, you know, if, 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 if I have a system that has these properties, what can I do with it? What is an example of research that you would do? Wow, good question. Uh, I have a bunch of papers. So this is like, well, this is, what's this about a published ad? Hixi. And there we had this program called Proper, which does automatic program repair, right? Um, where, so you have some properties about your program, right? And then we, uh, we fix it, right? We we take the program, we poke holes in it, we run quick check, which is like 
a testing framework that generates test cases basically so you have properties um, we can take those properties we can take the tests we can localize in your code where it fails and then we can repair that right and then we can synthesize code right to replace your old code uh, so like here right so here we replace product with length and here we replace product with sum um and it it kind of works you know we made uh, we could solve stuff uh you know non-trivial programs like adding the not is space that's quite nice but you know and then that's just that's our thing right like we spent so much time debugging right and, and repairing programs right so what if we could automate that right and you know no one knows how to do it uh, well i mean we have ideas some people are using like neural networks uh i'm doing more classical stuff kind of like constraint based ai uh, and then like the paper that got accepted two days ago that was um that was on generating properties uh, or synthesizing properties using these uh this new uh, data structure called ECTAs, where um, you can actually, I'll just show you, searching in, oh my God, searching entangled, entangle it, program spaces. So this is the data structure we used. So this is Jimmy's paper. Um, this guy, James Koppel, um, and then this is Nadia Polyakopova, and she is super good at program synthesis. Armando, he is the guy who invented what's called sketches, which is this, uh, type hole based thing where you, uh, yeah. So use that to generate the uh, properties. So question is, what well, would it work to complete fix heal something? The knowledge of what's supposed to be there needs to be known, right? Yes, that's why we are doing the, that's why we don't use do unit tests, right? We do properties. So you actually specify, I mean, you have to specify what your program should do, right? So you can give it a type. The type can tell you what the program can do. Um, you can give it and you give it a spec in the form of like a quick check spec and um, uh, and that's why you know our follow-up paper right was kind of how do we generate more tests right like how can we take your code generate a bunch of properties now like one property that will generate data and then test that your code, uh, like, like it will test that when your code holds, like the output has some properties, right? So it's not just one unit test, right? It can be the equivalent of a hundred or a million unit, right? So we take your program, we generate those properties, right? And then we can feed that into the automatic repair to repair the program, right? And of course, the properties can only be generated if your program already works. Um, so, you know, that's one of the things you could do, right? You can take like a known version that you knew worked, right? Now it's not, now, and then you find something that doesn't work and then you can generate the properties and then you can find, okay, you know, what, how can I fix it so that it still like has the old properties? So it's like write creative AI that writes stories or makes art. Yes, except, right? So that's the thing, right? The AI is super confident uh, and it gets the big picture, right? Like it's convincing. It seems like it's correct, but it will get the, get the details wrong. Like you will just say one plus one is not two. All right, man, we will look, we will generate a whole paper and we'll just have random errors but the general outline is correct right uh so that's what we where we want to come in right we want to um 
So, I mean, and that's kind of the future, right? You take these AI generators that generate something that's general, like it, the outline is correct. It's almost correct, but the details don't make sense. And then we feed it into this more classical system, uh, like I'm working on to repair the general outline, right? And, uh, and after that, you don't, you just write the, uh, yeah, I mean, th these are good questions, right? Is this further along than chat GPT? I mean, it's different, right? I don't think you can. So, I mean, the, the guarantee is also that like, if the program is repaired, it's correct according to the spec, right? Chat GPT makes no guarantee that the output is correct, right? And, you know, there's a huge difference in almost correct and looks correct, right? A, and that's, and that's where, you know, that's how, why it's hard, right? Because we, you know, if you want to run a code on an airplane, you cannot ask ChatGPT to generate the code because it might be wrong and then a lot of people might die, right? Uh, so that's not what we want, right? So we want to be able to be confident that our code works. And then, yeah. Okay, I think this will get the one for this one. Let me cancel it for the example. Let me just run it for the input. Beginning concept for nano machines. I don't really know. So, what do you mean by nano machines here? a little bit um yeah we're writing a tools that kind of the synth you have to synthesize the the nano machine has to be able to understand uh, what are the possible shapes that you could become in order to uh, repair whatever you're trying to repair right and uh, yeah But yeah, so that's why I like doing research, right? Because, you know, you're not constrained to the current events. You can be like, okay, what do we really want, right? Not like, what can I do with the tools available to us now? But like, you know, if I could create the tools, what, what would I want, right?
Mm. I mean, that's kind of the idea, right? With uh, integrating something like ChatGPT, right? They give a prompt. Um, and then they can generate a bunch of stuff. Um, and then you can fill in the details, right? But that's also the part point with science, right? Is like the chat GPT people are working on chat GPT. And I'm working on the part where it takes that output and makes it complete. Right, so I'm filling in the details. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, it's it's cooperative. Right? I, I had uh, I had contacts at uh, Copilot, right? The GitHub people, and we were thinking of doing something with them, but uh, yeah, it's always hard because like the person I knew, they weren't they didn't have contacts high enough, uh, so they couldn't really like host me as a research intern. And then, if I'm not hosted there, it's really hard to get good feeling for what they're doing and how it works, so... Let me just uh, make sure that... Uh, wait a minute. VS Code takes up so much memory. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think it's uh, cool, right? And then, you know, it's also like, yeah, I'm doing a PhD, but I also you know, I do get paid for it, right? So, not as much as I probably would, uh, you know, on the market, but uh, it's still okay. I can afford this uh, streaming setup. That is something. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to multiply with equality levels. So we'll need to get the... What other cool things am I working on? Uh, yeah, we can show you the spectacular paper. So this one just got it accepted to ICST. The result of the double blind, so I can actually talk about it now. Uh, this is the one where we're generating properties. So you give it some kind of uh, thing to reason about. So the idea is, and then yeah, later we have to, the plan is to be able to kind of take in a full program and it would kind of pick out the interesting parts and run through those. Um, and then this is the easy TA stuff. And then so this is what we do, right? We create this data structure that can efficiently uh, represent all terms. And the key here is efficiency, right? Because if you're a if you're generating programs, like there's a lot of programs. So you want to be able to represent, you know, a billion programs by, uh, you know, something that's a lot less than a billion 
bytes, right? Um, with these ECTAs, you can do it in log time. So, you know, 25 bytes or whatever to represent a million programs or a billion, but like 20, yeah. Reduces the size a lot, right? And then you can operate on the ECTAs uh, and do operation on them. And then you that's as if you were doing operations on all the billion programs in one time, right? And this makes it super fast. And then we can kind of uh, enumerate the programs, it's called, right? So you can kind of say, okay, what are the programs that you represent? And then we can take those and we can use quick check to generate these uh, laws, right? And then we generate stuff like, uh, you know, series equal to the length of the empty list, so it'd be empty. Adding to uh, empty list would be empty. And then uh, this one is cool. Um, so if you map over the, if you map over the reverse of a list, that's the same as take like reversing uh that's the same as doing the reverse and then like take mapping first and then reversing right and these are all like kind of laws that make sense of you right and so this one's also cool kind of right so if you map over a list of, of concatenation of a list of lists then that, that's the same as mapping a function, the mapping the map over that list and then concatenating. There's a lot of like these laws that we discover and then we have some data and we are a lot faster than our main competitor QuickSpec, particularly for very huge programs like huge lists, which has like a hundred, hundred things in scope. We take 91 seconds whereas quick spec crashes and, and we've seen it crash um and taking up like 250 gigs what are laws laws are kind of thing that laws are like these properties right where you say you know this is e equal to this right so that's the idea with a law right <laughs> yeah okay so it was this is the huge one that crashes. Uh, well, that quick spec can just can't handle. It runs out of memory, but we can. That's one of the things I'm working on. A uh, thing I just did is this a uh, CSI Haskell. Uh, this is a poster only, actually. Um. Where, you know, here you have like a classic error in Haskell, it doesn't tell you anything. But what we can do is we can a, we can actually figure out what exactly was going on when it happened. And uh, then output that, right? So you can add these traces, right? Uh, and this is very this is key in functional programming because things are like generated lazily and then they are consumed lazily. So like the uh, the distance I'll call it from values being produced to values being consumed is a lot higher than in imperative languages, right? Where you kind of generate a value. Um, And eat it up right away. And but it's also in some way it's closer, right? Because you only generate it right before you gen use it. But so like the distance in code might be very far, but like the distance in time is very close. So by saying okay, when you generate it, uh, let me know what you did. Um, this is like, uh, and this is like a GAC port. Uh, and then I wrote this a uh, paper on uh, type laws, like being able to um, sometimes weaken the type system in languages like Haskell, in the sense that you can tell it, or you can kind of 
make it uh, so that you can do things that should not be allowed but uh, if you, you like you know that they won't break at runtime and this allows us to test things that would otherwise be very hard to test um and then of course if you boot up haskell you go GTI and you say, huh, I want a function that goes from string to IO. It searches the scope for you and it tells you, oh, you can use put string, put string, I'll then read IO print fail. And this is in GHC and this is what's called wallet hole fits. You can even do set F. If high mid level hole fits equals one or higher, and then it would actually not just tell you things that like directly have the type, uh, also things that like you know if I you know write file if I give write file something that takes a file path like some a file path right then it will actually have that uh, type, and then that is a valid hole fit. Uh, yeah, and I, I added that, and this is my paper on that. Suggesting valid hole fits for typed holes. Uh, and we had these, ah, yeah, super good for lens, actually. Um, and I had this super nice thing called subsumption graphs that kind of would give you the perfect order like the most relevant ones first, but uh, and it would be really cool in the sense that you could uh, you could even f if you use type level hackery, you could even find um, you know you could you could you could sort by time complexity of functions. Uh, and I added this to Haskell. And now, you know, if you go to REPL, it Haskell, you know, you have you have it there, right? So, you know, it's not just my GAT, right? It's everywhere. That's what I added. Um, yeah. And that's also like, you know, that's where it started. That's why the title of my licentiate, which is like the, the half time degree we do here. Um, it's called the whole story. And it's quite nice. Ah, I like this picture. Anyway, I don't think you have to be smart. I think you just have to have the patience. We take this number here. Uh, number one was 21. Number two was And I think, um, yeah, I mean, and that's why, you know, are you ask like, what are the qualifications a PhD gives you? Uh, and I think it's really, you know, it's this, right? It's so that I don't understand any of these things either, but I know how to uh, not understand things, right? So I know, so I, you know, this guy calls me up. He's like, I got these ECTAs. 
I heard you do testing stuff. Do you want to use them? Should we do? We, let's write a paper together. I'm like, okay. Let me just look up this uh, state of the art uh, synthesis stuff and, you know, become an expert in it. And they cited me. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and then let me do something brand new with it, right? And that's what you do in a PhD, right? You're you're comfortable with not be understanding things, right? And then you can just do yeah, cool things that no one other that no one else is doing, right? Because but then you know, if you go to Haskell, the holes guy, right? Uh, Ah, oh, this is just me. Uh, uh, I, I remember Eisenberg was like, Hey, Matty, you are the holes guy. Do it. So you own a feature, right? Yeah. And this is... You know, this is you get to work on the cut. I get you what Christian was saying, right? You get to work on the cutting edge, right? And also, you know, I mean, like this repair program, like right? you can't, I mean, you can, right? But it's not like you can just download it and start using it right away, right? Uh, it's more like ah, oh, it's out there. We're trying to figure out how do we make these things. What are the things we should not do, right? So there's a lot of mistakes, and what what can we do that makes it work, right? And then once you figure that out, uh, like like these, right? Um, look at this. This is version space algebra, VSA, by Gulvani. Okay. This is how, this is how we represent expressions. Okay. This is how they represent expressions in version space algebra. Now, where have you seen version space algebras? Ah, if you use Excel, that magic feature where you can drag down and it just makes things up for you that just work, that's VSAs, right? That's this guy here, Gulvani. A legend in the biz. Okay, and then, you know, and, and let's look at that, uh, Gulvani. Uh, Gulvani. Oh, these are like locked behind paywalls. Uh, which I do have access to at work, but not right now. Here we go. Automating string processing spreadsheets using input output examples. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't even have a access to this one. I do have it in my Dropbox. I should probably not share that on stream. Seeing as it's super copyrighted and not by me. Anyway. Uh, this is open. I mean, so it's, it's cool, right? Like, it's these... In the column one, oh, into no. the currency shown in column two. It's these, these features, right? Like, these magic features that come out of research. Uh, which is why we do it. Right? Which is why we must do it. Anyway... Uh, do I recommend doing a PhD? Probably not. Uh, it's very long. Uh, I'm in my final year now, but it's taking me. It's been. It's. Uh, it's a five-year program. Uh, you do get some papers accepted, but usually 
you don't get them accepted. Like you have to put a lot of work in. You have to learn how to write papers. You have to learn how to, you know, convince people that are a lot smarter than you that your paper should be accepted, you know, while someone else who also is very smart submitted a paper, uh, their paper did not get accepted, right? And that, that, so you have to sell your paper, right? They learn a lot of good writing. You learn how to do that, right? You learn how to do the work so that your idea, right? Your, your, ah, oh, let me, let me make type tones, right? How do you take that kind of idea and like, because you know, a lot of these just end up like, ah, oh, you write something on a GitHub fork, right? And then it never ends up anywhere. And how you take it from to completion. Right? And then, yeah, you get a job at Microsoft, you add it to Excel. Um, a lot of Haskell is actually funded by Microsoft because uh, uh, they were paying Simon Pitton Jones uh, at Microsoft Research Cambridge um, because, you know, Excel is like a functional programming language, actually. Uh, it's all about data flow. It's all about functions. Um, and yeah, I think so. I think that's the fun part, right? Like, you know, you, you don't call up a PhD in computer science and have them work on your problem, right? Uh, it's not like, oh, I have an idea for an app. Let me get a PhD. It's more like, uh, you, you know, where the people in the background, right? You know, doing the work and then that ends up, you know, like, like C, right? Or like C is written by two PhDs. Right, and there's a lot of PhDs involved in Rust. There's a lot of PhDs involved in Haskell. A lot of PhDs involved, you know, at Facebook, making Facebook fast, making TypeScript. Uh, you know, now and I'm saying programming language things because I'm a programming language researcher, right? Uh, you know, all that machine learning stuff. It's all PhDs, but like you don't, you don't see them, right? Uh, because they're not kind of, they're not, and I think that's also the point, right? Like if you do a PhD, you're not really, you're not so much in it for the glory, right? You're more in it because uh, you feel like you don't know enough about the world, right? And we need to, we need to know. We should know, and we must know. This is Hilbert's quote. Yeah, yeah, but it's fun. I, uh, I mean, I recommend it. If you enjoy it, it's really fun. If you don't enjoy it, it can be very hard to do. Uh, and yeah, so it's also it's also about it's also about stamina, right? It's like great chess players, right? Uh, you know, great chess players, they're, you know, they're smart, they're good at thinking, but they have excellent memories. Uh, and the best ones are just really good at playing for really long times, right? Like they, they're just playing chess for eight hours, right? And I think that's the same with research, right? You have to have uh, not just stamina like per day, but like, you know, you have to take a problem um, and you have to not understand it for months, right? And you don't have an answer. And, uh, you know, it's an unanswered problem, right? Like if, 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 if there was an answer, uh, you would not be writing or trying to write about it, right? So, so there's no one there. You can, you can't ask anyone. You can't be like, oh, let me go to Reddit and get a hint. Right, it's not, it's not like that. You have to, you have to be okay with that. Like, uh, um, and I think that's a lot a reason why a lot of people stop being, they drop out of PhDs, 
It's not like, you know, they can be very smart. But that's not really what a PhD is about. It's about uh, being comfortable with not knowing, right? And I think that can be very hard for some people, right? If you're always the smartest and you always knew everything, and then you do a PhD and you were sitting with professors, you know, they're like, and you're like, you know, like me, I'm like 31 now. Yeah. And there's people there that like, they were full professors at 27. Right, like, and they these are extremely smart people, right? You'll be bashing your head in on a problem for a week and they take one look at it, they have no context, and they're like, ah, what about this? And it's like, oh yeah, okay, that's exactly, you know. So you, And you get to interact with those people, right? And you get to, you know, be, and you get to be the dumbest person in the room, right? And I, I, and I love that, right? I want, you know, I think that someone said that, like, if you're the smartest person in the room, like you should find another room, right? Because uh, you're not going to learn anything if you know everything already, right? And I think I like it. I like being able to, you know, not know anything and then, you know, nobody else knows anything. So it's, it's fine. You know, I really should have written this, uh... Ah, thanks, Christian. Yeah, I think this will be over soon. Uh, and then I'm gonna go sleep. I really should have written this uh, DFS uh, not as a... kind of look at the path and then check. I should have just been like... search this part of the space and then give me the biggest number. But I don't want to cancel it now. Find out. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I should be doing. Let me just check if this works. Uh, so this one was third one was 39. But I want to see what this one does. Val start. Uh, v. Okay, now this one takes a left gene, A, 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 Z, A, Z. Right, uh, and then you want to do max uh, val a val a uh, val uh, m a s prime.
We're not going to have the end function here, actually. right uh, which is our state Thirty nine plus twenty one plus seven. Let's see if it's correct. Ah, oh, multiply them together. Thirty nine times twenty one times seven. Oh no. It didn't work. Wow. Okay. Well, let me see what DFS Max says.
เฮ้ยใช่ไงเนี่ยเนี่ยยังโปรแกรมนี้ใช่ไหมใช่ไหมใช่ไหมใช่ไหมใช่ไหมอ่า it took half an hour to run it gave the wrong Some of the assumptions must be wrong. Because I thought this would work, right? I did it just the slow way, um, but it did not work. Twenty-one, seven, thirty-nine, five, seven, three, three. Just to determine the larger denominator of the first. Three blueprints. Just to make sure I'm living with the general ship. It was thirty-two minutes, right? Yes. Maybe that make only geode if you can. Is wrong for one of my. Okay, we we'll take that away.
I'm thinking of uh, saying it good for the night, as we say in Iceland. Um, I don't know what's wrong now. Okay. I removed this the one part that possibly unsafe and now I'm just going to I'm just gonna run it for um, for the night and uh, see what happens tomorrow and then i guess i'll have to do a part two for this one we already spent yeah almost seven hours today and uh, we only did task one but i have to say we're not the only ones uh okay but uh yeah It was nice to have someone here, uh, you know, chat about research while waiting for this to finish. Because, um, you know, otherwise you just sit and you program and not chatting with anyone. Uh, hope to see you tomorrow again. Uh, you know, follow and then you'll see when I'm online. Uh, ah! And Aaron did follow. And then, you know, tune in next time. And let's continue the conversation, right? And, and then maybe I'll... Maybe this will be done. And I'll see what went wrong or something. But, yeah. It's gonna run for to the night. And then... Uh, hopefully not crashed. Alright. I'm getting super tired also. I think that's where... That's why my, my energy is falling also. Yeah, but also ask questions, you know. Um, that's why we're also doing this in Haskell. We're trying to see if it's good stuff or not. Yeah, stay. Yeah, the sleep is calling to me. All right. Good night, Aaron. Good night, the rest of you. And see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.